Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be going over the ways you implement a menu onto your website using Sparkle. So there are a few options for menus. In terms of how many layers you can have, Sparkle limits it at two submenus. However, this is usually just how many people need for their website. The first thing we're, we're going to do is make sure that our pages are in the order that we want. So home, blog, gallery, contact us, and then our top menu over here. Just make sure that the names over here on, in your page information area are the way you want them on your menu. So once we have checked that, what we're going to do is go back to our home page. We're going to select more and then we're going to check off menu right here. So this automatically creates a menu for here. It's a very basic looking menu as you can see. What we're going to do is resize this by using the little selectors over here. We're going to bring this up to the top, which is usually where the menus are on websites. We're going to increase the size and I'm going to make it a little taller like that. Perfect. So next what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, certain features about how this looks right now. You can change the fill right there, which changes the background color. I'm going, you, as you can see, you can change to gray, whatever color you like. I'm going to leave it at what it was uh, before. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font. I'm going to go to Able. I'm going to change the size to 19 and that just increases the size a little, makes it uh, better viewable for uh, our website viewers. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom. And this is a very cool feature uh, at the bottom here. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, so mouse hover right here. Uh, it is a very cool feature because when you are on the website and you hover over certain parts of your menu, this they will change, uh, determining uh, determined by what you select right here. So I'm going to change the background color to this blue. I'm going to leave the border color and text color the same because usually those don't change, but you can obviously do that on your website if you would like. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sub menu options. Uh, as you saw, there were sub uh, menus right here. What we're going to do is click the top menu here and that makes our sub items appear right there. As you see right now, they are too wide for our current menu. So what we are going to do to fix that is click one of the items, menu one sub item. I'm going to change the width all the way down. Uh, 142 is where it uh, cuts off. And then I'm going to change the height to 40, just because those are a little short right now. All right, 39 and 40. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a custom style. As you see, that that text right there is uh, ver pushing it to the sides, both sides of the sub items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the font a little bit, uh, maybe to just 15, just so that it fits in the items there. I'm going to also additionally change the mouse hover again uh, to that second blue that was created. So in order, in, in terms of the actual menu, to change the order, you simply click and drag. Uh, if this loads, I will show you that next. So you simply click and drag, uh, depending on how you want it to appear. As you see, I just clicked contact us uh, above gallery and then it moved it right there. Um, to add another item, you, you, you just, I'm gonna put that back right there. Right? Now to add another item, you just click this plus button that will add an item as you see to your menu. I'm going to undo that just because it changes the size. Uh, in terms of hiding uh, one of these, if you don't want it to be viewed on your actual menu, when when replicate site structure is clicked, you cannot delete the, the actual pages from here, but you can hide it using that uh, little eye right there. It is recommended that you keep replicate site structure clicked on because what ha what will happen is when you continue creating sub tiers and uh, different different pages over here, it will replicate it in the menu system and you don't have to change those features. So that's just kind of a convenience thing, so you don't have to go back and rechange your menu every time you you uh, make a change or add a new page. Additionally, another option that you can do is make your menu vertical. 
Uh, some people have their, their menu systems over here on the left, uh, but I like to keep mine on the top. Uh, it's, it's a very clean way of, of using your menu system. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like now. Uh, we can open the live preview and it goes into Safari. So as I said before, uh, with the hover, as you see when I'm hovering over the different uh, pages, they do change color and then our top menu, we uh, still have to change those because I changed um, change it from vertical to horizontal so that clears out what I did before, uh, but those would uh, appear like they do right now. So it's a very easy way to implement uh, the menu system into your website using Sparkle. Um, there's there's definitely more options you can play around with like spacing, background fill, and other mouse hover options if you want. Um, some websites have a transparent background color and then a cover uh, color hover background if you would like to do that. Other than that, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. Otherwise, please check out the next tutorial in the series, which is an advanced background option. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.